If you've watched my other videos, you know that there's three products I want all of my patients on. That's sunscreen and antioxidant and retinol. But you might have also heard some rumblings about side effects of retinol, that some people can't use it, or that it just is so irritating that it's not tolerable by a lot of people. So I wanted to talk about some of the side effects of retinol but also discuss ways that you can actually avoid them so that you aren't one of those people that comes into my office and says, doc, I can't be on retinol. So the first thing I wanna talk about is how you should start using retinol. You don't wanna start like gung-ho and you're like, I'm gonna put this on every single night because what's gonna happen is your skin's gonna get red, flaky, you're essentially gonna be giving yourself a peel at home and you wanna do a peel when you're ready to do a peel and you don't have anything important coming up in your life, not like, every single day. So the way you want to start using retinol is maybe two or three nights a week after you wash your face. If you're not getting irritated, then you want to move up to maybe four nights a week. If you are getting irritated, maybe go down to two nights, stay there for a while, about a month, and then start going up one more night. So slowly build that up. I know that with retinol myself, it took me seven months to be able to use it every night. The second tip is there's different strengths of retinol. You don't want to be using a Retin-A, those are stronger. You definitely want to be in the retinol family. And maybe start with a 0.25, that's going to be the most gentle percentage of retinol to start with. I personally started with a 0.5 um, just a few nights a week and slowly worked my way up, that's okay too. But the 1.0 is gonna be stronger. I don't recommend my patients start with a 1.0. That's usually for the people that have been using retinol, the, the 0.5 every single night are not having any issues. That's when we'll move them up to the 1.0. The other thing you should know about retinol is that it does make your skin more sun sensitive. So if you're one of those people that's not gonna wear a hat outside or not gonna wear sunscreen, you should not be on retinol because the chances of you getting sunburned while on retinol are a lot higher and sunburns can lead to skin issues as we age. So if you are gonna be using retinol, it's kind of you're gonna be committed to your skin when you are in direct sunlight or intense sunlight, for example, on vacation, you are gonna be wearing a hat or a sun shield in addition to your sunscreen. And every day in the morning, sunscreen has to be a part of your regimen. So if you follow those few tips, start with a weaker retinol, start only a few nights a week, and also take really good care to avoid sun or wear sunscreen every day. Retinol should not be a problem and you can easily integrate it into your daily skincare regimen.